Hello, four on four basketball coaches and basketball players. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of my own four on four basketball plays. So, hello everyone, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel, I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So, if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But, anyways, today I'm going to show you some fantastic four on four basketball plays that I use myself in four on four basketball games. Obviously, if you have enough time to prep for your next game, or if you just have a squad of four players and you just want to destroy people, yes, yes, plays are the way to go. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so here we are down on the clipboard. I call this an S play. If you don't know uh, or have not seen my previous videos on the S inbounds, you can uh, probably just search it on my, on my channel. But anyways, I call this the S play basically because... We have a shooter, we have screeners, we're going to get an open three-point shot over here. Check this out. Basically, player two is going to cut across the key. Players three and four are going to cut, or not cut, but close off. The defender is going to get stuck there. Player two is going to pop out. Player one is going to pass player two the ball. And player two is going to take a three-point shot. Now, he could take the three-point shot. He could take a dribble in and take a shot as well. But those are all different options that can happen. And, well, this will get you a ton, a ton of points. And really, they it works, and it works great. Now, in this next play, what we are going to have is player 2 and player 3 are go both going to be shooting options. Now, what, what I mean by that is player 2 is going to go use player 4 as a screen. He's going to cut across the, the free throw line. He may be open in this area for a jump shot. If not, he's going to clear out to this far wing. Anywhere in this area, he may be open. Player 3 is now going to do the same thing using player 4 as a screen. Except player 3 is going to pop out to the free throw line extended. Again, may be open anywhere in this area. However, something to look out for for player 3 when he's back here, when he's looking at his defender, if his defender is stuck on player 4, player 3 could instead cut towards the rim and player 1 could pa pass him the ball for an easy layup or an easy floater. Now, if both of these players did clear out to that side, we can now have player 4 roll towards the basket. He may be open for the easy layup as well. Just honorable mentions, uh, while well, he, he does score quite a bit. Now, I call this a triangle play in the 4-on-4 four four game, but basically this one's very simple. We're going to have player 3 cut towards the rim, and he's going to decide, depending on which side his defender is on, if his defender is on this side, he's going to pop out using player 2 as a screen out to this side of the court for either a mid-range or a three-point shot. If his defender is on this side and he wants to go this way, the reason behind that is if his defender is on this side and he curls out, player 4 can then screen his defender and he's going to pop out for either a mid-range or a three-point shot. Now these are all very simple options. Let's say player 3 gets the ball and he doesn't have the ability to shoot. We're going to have player 4, the opposite player. He's going to set a back screen on player 1 who's then going to cut towards the rim and may be open for a pass. Now in this fourth basketball play, this is one of my favorites. Basically either player 3 or player 4 or the point guard obviously decides is going to go and do a dribble handoff with player 1. Now at this time, player 3, the opposite player, is going to go and step, a, take a step or two out. He's going to set a screen for player 4. And now player 2 is going to set a back screen on player 1. Now player 1 may be open for the layup, so definitely check out that pass. But player 4 may also have a lane to the basket himself, or he may have the open shot for himself as well. Now in this fifth basketball play, what we are going to have is just very something very ridiculously simple. These players are going to decide themselves. It's not going to be public knowledge. You're not going to say player four, player two, whoever, Tyler, Bob, John, whoever, it doesn't matter. They're going to decide themselves who's going to go first, who's going to go second. And basically it's just a sprint across the court. So let's say player four went first. He may be open because obviously he may be catching his defender off guard. Player 3, let's say, goes next, 
If he gets his defender off guard, he may be open in that area. And then we're going to finish off with just a simple screen and roll with the point guard who could take the shot or the pass for the layup, or he could take the ball to the rim himself. And now our sixth play, yes, there is six plays in this video as well. We're going to have player one pass the ball over to player two. Player three is then going to go and set a screen for player one, who is also going to be using player four as a screen as well. He may be open cutting towards the rim. If he's not, he needs to clear his butt out of the way because next is going to be four setting a screen for player three and he better be open for that layup. Now, those are some fantastic four on four basketball plays that you can run with your basketball team. Some are simple, some are a little bit more advanced. But anyways, I hope that they work for you just how they used to work for me and still do. But anyways, if you have liked this video, Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another basketball video because I do post new basketball videos, plays, drills, and skills every single day. So I'll see you guys next time. Hey, basketball coaches. So basically, my defense book it's a defense that is created by myself and tested by many, many different teams. Everyone loves it. As far as I know, everything I have gotten back is great news. Basically, everything from the free throw line and under is a double team. Everything up top is single coverage. If you want to check out this book, go to the link below. It is called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe. Or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.